Today we're showing uh, BMW 320 uh, Touring. It's a E36. I think it's a 1996 model. I'll start with saying that the car is very original and there is uh, no evidence uh, that I can see of any structural repairs like floorboards or rocker panels. Uh, I don't think any of that has been replaced on the vehicle. It looks all original. And it also looks like it was all rust protected a very long time ago. That's probably why it's not, um, it has not rusted. It all looks good. And if you look here, for example, you can see that a piece of uh, undercoat has flaked off, but look how this is, this is all solid. This, whatever that rust you see here, this is just very surface, um, very surface rust. Uh, nothing is rusted through, all this looks original and it's uniform with the driver's side. Uh, same here near the lifting point, you can see the piece of uh, undercoat fell off, but this is all very solid. <clears throat> the car is lifted uh, by its lifting points um, and they look solid, so everything is Everything is good there. Again, um, I may be wrong, but I don't see any evidence of anything being well that I believe. Uh, this is all just uh, original rocker panels, original floorboards. Everything looks very, very solid. Mm. Now, uh, another thing is uh, brake lines and fuel lines. Uh, you see they're all black, which means they have been uh, uh, rust protected. And again, long time ago, probably, and that's why they look so good. <clears throat> so as far as that goes, the car looks really nice. Uh, it's got a newer catalytic converter too. Um, anyways, as far as uh, suspension parts and subframe, that's just you know you're gonna see that this is this is sur this is rust, but it's all surface, um, and you just can't get away from it because these parts are not <coughs> rust protected. They rust first, but also. It will take ages for these things to rust through. So that's why I call it a surface rust. Um, no, you know, you can clean it, you can paint it over, no matter what you do, it really won't make but much difference because it will never rust through. Um, it's all solid metal, very thick, and no matter what you do, um, you can just improve the look. But uh, this, this stuff will never rust through. And then you have suspension parts also that have surface rust on them that obviously can be either replaced or you know cleaned again uh like a half axle here yeah it's got rust so what um it's never gonna uh make any effect on the actual drivability uh, and these parts are replaceable parts uh car doesn't have wheels um i took them off just for the video uh, and you can see uh, rotors have some surface rust as well uh, brakes still have a lot of meat um, this car spent probably about six weeks uh, in uh, on the ship in transit so you're always gonna have some rust on these rotors you probably do a few hard brakes and uh, a few hard stops and, and this will clean off uh, again, the rest of the car is very nice, very original. Uh, may have had some paint work done. I don't know. We don't really care uh, as long as the car doesn't have any, any rust. And this one was not even cleaned up. These uh, things are blue, which I don't know if they originally come blue. Uh, without the covers, I think they should be black. So maybe somebody just painted that um, for the color. But the car is super solid. Uh, again, it's very original. As you can see, there is no, no structural rust. Um, as far as mechanicals, it drives pretty awesome. Uh, we did an oil change yesterday on it. Uh, it looks, uh, looks all pretty dry. There are probably a couple of wet spots from the power steering as always, uh, but I don't see anything, um, I don't see anything um, alarming. Uh, it's got Bilstein shocks. I wonder if these are sports suspension or not. Anyways, um, I will end this video. Uh, the car is gonna be uh, cleaned up detailed today and it will be advertised today. If you are interested, um, just shoot me a, uh, a line or, or, or give me a call. All right, thanks.